And let's have a quick look at uh, the current rates. This is where we stand on the uh, single currency right now, 85 52 uh, euro yen also we've seen dramatic moves on this cross uh, money is moving into yen 102.48 it's um i don't know there are people out there talking about this euro dollar rate with a seven at the front let's um let's kick it out to uh, simon at this point <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> where am i there was some beach somewhere. What, what, this is, the, oh, this is my present, this is my present, is it, for, for, because I don't get any public holidays. How delightful. Delightful. Did you, can you hear the sound effects? They're doing sound effects yeah. in the background. This is a new management approach. Rather than actually giving you days off, we bring the holiday to you. <laughs> Fantastic. Where am I? Um, we're in the similar sort of end of the beach, but... I, um, I, I distinctly I, hope these are not the sand dunes in Gran Canaria. Yeah. You know what? You look at you look at Simon's, and he looks like the Mediterranean. You look at Guy's, it looks like Clacton. It does it? look a bit. <laughs> story of that's my a, life, that really, isn't, isn't it? it? And just like behind North you Wales. is just behind look... you is the board that says, "Don't let your dog foul on the beach." <laughs> no, it's a big sign saying sewage outlet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't swim in this sea. That's closer to the truth than we would care to get this morning. Probably, I think it's, it's probably a good idea. That, yeah, well, I'm not going to get on that road actually. Um, yeah, no, very impressive. So why why are we um, why are we being blessed well, with this? Well, I don't know. View. I think there was a, there was a general feeling that uh, with the rest of Europe on holiday and the UK not on holiday, that we we felt it was only necessary that we could get some kind of a suntan while everybody else is chilling out. Seems seems perfectly reasonable to me. Simon's got his new fancy sunglasses on. He seems quite relaxed. Oh yes, yes, because there's no you news just, to report. You just beat him on this. <laughs> Corporate those? news flow is corporate news flow is limited. Oh, Simon, that's more like it. Are those Ray Bans? No, no. That's more like it. Simon's one now does look more like North Wales. It, it does a bit actually. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever go and do that? What's that place on the south coast? Is that Swanage where they have a? Um... Oh. That's more like it. Where's the Where's the big drink with a with a with an umbrella in it? Oh, with gin and tonic, anyway. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I thought we'd get round to that eventually. <laughs> So, what are we going to uh, do now, then? Stocks. You've got, you've do we, got we want to talk you've about stocks, news. do we? Um, well, I thought we'd talk about We're going to kick Alcatel around a bit but a little later on. Uh, we've also had these numbers out from United Utilities, which I don't actually have a share price graph for, but I'm not sure they'll be able to manage to put one up sort of on the top of this anyway. Uh, United Utilities. How can you talk about United Utilities when you're sat there supposed to be on the beach? It's, it's, it doesn't really work anyway. Uh, your, uh, your water's fairly murky, isn't it? That's hardly blue. That's one of them cheap package holidays you're on, mate. <laughs> you know, the ones where you get it all thrown in. What thrown in? Well, you get your food and your drink and your... <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 you don't have to yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, it's a very those crowded bracelets, beach. Sandals. Are those sandals those places you go to? I don't know. Sandals? Sandals, yeah. But you're on, you're on, you're chilling out now. You're, Cape you're, d'Azur. Where you're, am I? Your boats are floating. All boats are floating for Simon Hobbs. But the boat doesn't seem to be moving very much at the moment. I wish James Bond sort of... You could, you need to know you could of... get carried away. This is a bit like being on the, um, the Star Trek Enterprise, isn't it? Where you just go into that thing and... The hologram room. The hologram room. That. I, I can holodeck, feel the, holodeck. holodeck I'm I can feel the audience slipping away, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <What's>... <laughs> slipping? Yeah. United Utilities. United Utilities. Let's just run through these numbers quickly and then we can wrap this up. Uh, Pre-exceptional profits. These are final results for 2001. Uh, the pre-exceptional profits coming at £310 million. I know we're going to talk a little bit about this later on. Uh, the expectation there was £309 million. So uh, United Utilities uh, has beaten the numbers. Unfortunately, you're looking at... Uh, well, that is, that's yesterday's close at 6 13 uh, we haven't managed to get the percentage change on that because uh, it's not the close number. We won't worry about that too much. But as you can see, the shares uh, have taken a bit of a beating over the last six months, which is quite interesting, actually, considering... Well, it's actually, it's not quite interesting. The techs have had a good run over the last uh, three or four months, and you would expect defensives uh, to go back uh, out of vogue. OK, Jeff, I think we should, we should toss it back to you. Beach ball-like. Because uh, I think we've probably had enough of this. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll, I'll leave you to lick your lollies and uh, drink your soft drinks and do all those other things you do on the beach. Is that what you do on holiday, Jeff? Uh, generally, yes, with a nice. handkerchief on my head. Nice. And my trousers rolled up to my knees. I can actually <laughs> picture the scene. It's, it's the only it's way. So can I, and it's quite frightening. It's, it's the only way to holiday. Good. Let's, um, let's get back to um, our guest host. Robin Edwards is with us this morning.